Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Dave from Rolling Hills Farm here. As you can see, we're out in freshly mowed hay tedding this morning. And uh, we've got about 20 acres down. And so uh, we'll get it flipped over uh, this morning. This is the day after we mowed it. And it'll be ready to bale tomorrow. So this is a tedder. This is what it looks like when it's not hitched on a tractor. And you can see it's folded up. Uh, the working part of a tedder are these tines that rotate and they fluff the hay, uh, which helps to dry it. We never used tedders growing up. I'd never seen one until I moved here. They were really developed in Europe and uh, became popular early in the Eastern United States with higher humidity and uh, shorter drying days. So when we moved up here to Northern Minnesota, uh, people said to dry the hay, we had to get a tedder. Our tedder is one of Dawn's favorite tools. In fact, she's just about the only person that uses it. I've used it occasionally, but she runs it on her tractor. And when you lay these arms down, you can ted two rows at a time. So you're fluffing the hay to make it dry faster. The hay is lying in pretty thick rows and the underside isn't really exposed to the sun and won't dry. Where if you look where we've just headed, it's all mixed up. And there's a lot of really green hay now that's been exposed to the sun and it will dry nicely. Okay, with Dawn out tedding, it's time for me to start getting equipment ready for uh, tomorrow, uh, raking and baling hay. And I've got, because we're gonna be round baling and square baling, I've gotta get wagons and rakes and everything ready for the first time this year. And it all starts with this Oliver. I've gotta get fueled. Oil looks good. So we like to put the bar rake on the Oliver because that gives Dawn the kind of uh, windrows she likes for square bailing. So what I've got to do now is grease the whole thing, get those tires aired up, and it'll be ready to go. Next is hay wagons. Make sure there's no problems. Make sure the tires are all full. One of the other things we have to do is make sure the elevator up into the barn is working. With the old rake done, we need to get the new rake greased up, which involves grease in every one of those wheels. There with everything else hitched and greased, now it's time to grab the round baler. So I opted to put the fire extinguisher here on the right side of the baler. Um, you have to theoretically run around the tractor to get at it. I'm assuming if it were burning, it would be up in here, these bearings. But 
this seemed like the best spot, the most out of the way spot, um, yet still accessible. Come on, Mouse. Let's get out of the sun. It's hot. <laughs> 